Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. Now, we're saved by grace through faith. This is the dispensation of grace. So we're saved by grace through faith, believing in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. Not of ourselves, not of works. You put yourself in it, you put works in it. You put works in it, you put yourself in it. Least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe, that's the key word, believe in him, will not perish but have eternal life. Once you admit you're a sinner... You admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. It's only one. And you put your when you put your faith and trust in Christ, when you accept him as savior, then you've accepted the gift of grace. You are saved and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. He leads you, guides you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's the gospel, period. What's the will of God? You accept Christ as Savior. That's the will of God, period. That's the will of God, is that you accept Jesus Christ as Savior. 28 years, no one could tell me that. For 28 years... No one could ever tell me what the will of God was. For 28 years, no one could tell me the real gospel. Period. And these, and I, like I said, I was born and raised in the Pentecostal movement. And no one could ever tell me that. No one could ever give me a clear definition of what the gospel was. No one could ever do that. And that's okay, because God and his grace got me out of that. So, here we are today. Praise God. Got to give you this article. This is off of, uh, where is this off of? Oh, Prophecy News Watch. This is about Israel and Iran. Israel is fast approaching the moment of truth with Iran. And we know what's going to happen. The nuclear talks between world powers and Iran is moving forward and will soon reach the decision-making stage. The Iranians are masters of negotiation and, tr and tried conditioning the continuation of talks on the removal of sanctions and were rebuffed. It appears that this time the Europeans... Mainly Germany. Don't forget Germany is under a new, uh, has a new prime minister. Angela Merkel is no longer there. Mainly Germany, France, Great Britain are more involved with the talks now. While the Americans, who spearheaded negotiations under Barack Obozo, are working more collaboratively with the other global powers. It seems that despite the mutual threats and prevailing sense that the talks were headed toward failure, an agreement will ultimately be reached that will restrict Iran's pace of uranium enrichment and give Iran what it wants with the removal of most of the sanctions. Iran's long-term strategic interest is to possess a nuclear weapon. In the short term, however, under the yoke of sanctions and the sputtering uh, economy that threatens the regime's survival, Iran must get the sanctions lifted. The United States, under a resident with plummeting approval ratings, needs an achievement to improve its standing. The Chinese and Russians, which regardless, don't abide by the sanctions. 
will be glad to return to doing legitimate business with Iran such that ultimately all sides have an interest in reaching a deal. Israel is in the toughest position ever. If a deal is reached, currently sanctioned uh, funds will be unfrozen, allowing Iranian terror and influence to run rapid across the Middle East. We can expect the situation in Syria to change as well and for the Iranians to apply even more pressure in an effort to cement their influence there. The Iranian nuclear threat won't be eliminated either with the country remaining close to the threshold point. They're already there. The Iranians will be able to secretly move ahead with the nuclear program, which will bring them closer to nuclear breakout capability. Israel has the ability to attack Iran and will soon have no other choice because the prevent, um, the sword is almost at its neck. Israel is going to have to make a move any time now. And to be honest with you, I don't know who's going to strike first, uh, Russia with Ukraine or Israel with Iran. But Israel is going to have to do something, and they're going to have to do something very, very fast. Because Iran is going to hit them with everything they have. It appears that the most that the critical moment is fast approaching. Like I said before, they cannot rely on American military intervention with uh which most likely won't come. Folks, the Bible is being everything in the Bible is coming to pass. Israel will be on her own. Now, the United States won't help. And this brings me to this point. When this happens, will the United States still be standing? That's a good question. Or will it be involved in anything else, such as Russia and NATO? And, um, well, yeah, Russia and Ukraine. This is, this is questions that... Ponder. It appears that the critical moment is fast approaching. Like I said, Israel's going to have to make a move real fast. This goes on to say, um, The preparations currently underway are meant to improve the uh, Israeli Defense Forces attack capability and finalize a better plan of action. The Israeli Defense Force must receive a clear directive from the Israeli government which defines the objective devastating damage to Iran's nuclear program. Despite the difficulties, it seems the time has come for the Israeli Defense Force to prepare a strike plan in conjunction with the country's intelligence service. At the same time, Israel must prepare for an Iranian response from its soil via Hezbollah in Lebanon as well. Hamas and other Palestinian terror groups should be expected to unleash their own havoc as well. That's why I said a few months ago, all of this is going to happen at one time. It's all going to come down at one time. Israel has been fighting Iran for over two decades. And the Israeli Def Defense Force has the ability to continue coping with the Iranian threat and hitting Hezbollah hard. Beyond the operational preparations, Israel still needs to prepare a diplomatic plan to legalize a military strike and soften the international reaction. Now, 
Could a strike lead to a retaliatory coalition strike by Iran, Russia, Turkey, and others, as described in Ezekiel 38, known as the War of Gog and Magog? It says here, we're going to soon find out. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to link this in the description box. I have a few articles on my blog as well. This is coming to a head real fast. And I always said, watch Israel. But with everything else coming, I, it wouldn't surprise me, and I have said this before, it wouldn't surprise me if all this stuff comes together at one time. Israel, Iran, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, which ironically is kind of quiet lately. That's worrisome. But we shall all find out what's going to happen. I will link this article in the description box and I will be back with the next video. Thank you.